All right. It only took about six months or so, but this thing is resting properly on its own springs. Now, before we started anything, we made sure that the frame was level, the front axle was straight in relation to the frame, and the rear axle was straight in relation to the frame and the front axle. So the first step in setting up 37 bones in this orientation is we had to adjust the angle of this mounting point in relation to the bones themselves. Originally, they were mounted off of these studs meeting at a point near the transmission. So we had to correct the angle to make it parallel with the bones themselves so we could tuck them in a little bit on the axle. After that, we removed about 16 or so inches off the original bones and stuck the Speedway split wishbone kit on one end and kind of set it up to find a good location to mount it on the rear, trimmed it up a little bit and tacked them in place. Once the 37 bones were properly supporting the bottom of the axle, we went ahead and removed our wooden blocks that was setting our ride height. With those blocks removed and that rear spring able to properly support the frame, the pinion angle was able to climb just a hair past where the transmission required. Using a floor jack, we were able to raise up the frame from underneath the spring perch, allowing the axle to roll back down, correcting the pinion angle. From there, we were able to set up our upper tubes. We found a symmetrical place on the rear axle, kind of attacked it in place at first, then went ahead and coped it, set it in properly, and checked for symmetry and squareness. Once the upper tubes were in and everything was checked for square, we went ahead and made our connecting gussets at a 3 16 plate. With the radius rod removed, for finish welding, we went ahead and removed the gussets too and put a finish weld on the bung for the ball joints. The mounts on the axle are still just tacked in place. When I go to set up the machine for 220 again to do fish plates and finish welding on some of the brackets for the frame, we'll go ahead and weld out the axle. So I can finally breathe a sigh of relief. The car is finally sitting properly on its own weight. So the next step from here is to devote a location for the body and start some body mounts to get it stout. And from there, we can adjust the pedals and find the location for the steering setup. The plan is to still use this 53 to 57 steering box. And I got lucky and found the correct pitman arm. Of course, I still have to heat it up and move it around for proper use on this frame, but we're on the right track. So with all that out of the way, it's Christmas Eve, and I'd like to take the opportunity to thank each and every one of you for all your support throughout the years. All of your views, your likes, your comments, your questions has been a great support system to keep the momentum up on this project. So again, thank you very, very much for all your support and following along. And until 2024, thanks for watching. Time to go.